Hi, hi, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with Interactive Immersive HQ. This video, I'm going to show you how to do this feedback, painterly, flowy effect in Touch Designer. This is all done in tops with the feedback, no AI, just an old fashioned way. And, uh, and for here, I am uh, crossing between the two stock video, nature videos, but you can just use regular images or use another movie that is very slow. You can slow down the speed if you're doing a video. So let's get started. As always, let's start with a clean network. I'm going to drop down the movie file in and I'll select one of the nature videos. Um, I'll do this movie too. I'll just have one video for now and then I'll add the other one to cross and just set up the, the foundation of the network. I'm gonna add a noise. And this video is 1280 by 720. I'm gonna add a fit. So let's just have everything to be 1280 by 720. So this, I'm gonna change this to 1280 by 720 and this pixel format, I'm gonna change it to 16-bit float and noise, I'm gonna change it to random. And I'll add a level. I'll play with this parameter, but uh, for this level, but for now I'm gonna lower this opacity to be something like 0.3 or maybe 0.5. Uh, after this, I'll add a add top and connect these two. So this will give kind of a green on the video, which will give more of that like brush texture uh, for the feedback effect. But it also um, washed out the color. So after this, I'm going to add another level and we'll play with this, but I'm going to add, increase the gamma. Mm. Or decrease the gamma. I mean. Great. After this, I'll add a feedback top. I'll leave a feedback top over here and I'm gonna add a cross. Cross, I'm gonna have this be a first input and then this level as a second input. And I'm gonna put this as 0 0.02. Oops. And this pixel format to be 16 bit float. I'm going to connect this to a displace. We need another input. I'm going to add another noise. This noise, I'll change it to be 1280 by 720. Pixel format, 16-bit float. Um, the parameters of this have the amplitude be 0 0.005 and we're going to monochrome off and we'll play with these parameters in a little bit but for now the feedback I'm going to connect it to the second input not the first input the second input is input noise coordinator map as the first one is the input background image so um, remember the second one great and then I'm going to pipe this to the displace this displace, I will <laughs> decrease the displace weight to be 0 0.1, 0 0.1. I'll add a null. And after it's null, I'm gonna add a, another null. And I'll call this out. And this will be the view active, because I'm gonna connect this null to the feedback. And now already you see something happening. Cool. And we can play around with this noise. So we can increase this period. 
and the exponent, slow and speed this down. This level can play, you know, a little bit more red in it. And since this video has very little movement, it creates more stuff when there's more movement. Um, so I'm going to copy and paste this and select the other video, which is I did the movie three. And I'll add a, another cross. I'll pipe this to the second. Cool. And then we can slowly cross between these two with an LFO. Have this frequency to be 0.1. Uh, change the type. Gazan, Gazian, Gazian. <laughs> um, I'll add a null. And I will pipe this into the cross. So now it has this continuous flow. After this null, let's add a level between that and the final null. Why I put it here is because if you, if I put a level over here, then it'll affect the feedback and it'll make it go a little bit wonky. I'll kind of just demo why uh, this is where it is. Because like, like, oh, let me add the gamma. I was like, oops. Um, it creates this unhappy loop. So we do it after the feedback loop. So then we can play getting the colors better without making things unhappy. Any little contrast so you can see all the little textures more. And um, you can play with rather having 16-bit float to do 32-bit float, uh, depending on your machine, if it doesn't make your FPS go down, but it would also kind of clean up some of the edges or you can play with what if it's just 8-bit float, it kind of gives more of this glitch effect, which you could be something that you're striving for. But yeah, higher the bit float, the more clean it is. Things to kind of keep note of is that this is the second input noise, that everything is the same size, which is 1280 by 720 in here, um, having um, you can play around with different bits and make sure if you want to add the contrast to have the level to be after the feedback loop. So simple, but I really like this effect and, um, I like using this in different projects so you can add on to it. You can play around with what if it was like a video input, how do you make this reactive and I'm excited to see what you do with this and feel free to tag me and Interactive Immersive <laughs> HQ. I'll leave our ha uh, my handle in the caption below. Thanks. Bye. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.